this video, we're going to look at the in-string reverse function in Excel VBA. The in-string reverse allows you to perform a search based on a character or sequence of characters in a larger string and begin that search at the right side of that larger string. So eventually what we're going to do in this video is search these strings here using the in string reverse and pull back the last word in that string and then down here we're going to do an in string reverse and pull back the second to last word so the first thing we want to do is get into the VBA editor window you can do that by hitting alt F11 or going to the developer ribbon and clicking on the visual basic button so anywhere in this project window, I'm going to right click, go to insert module. We'll call this subroutine search string. And I'm going to begin with a very basic example. We're just going to create a variable here called position. And then use the in string reverse. The first input is the string, the larger string that we want to search on. So I'm going to begin with a very basic example. Just type the word hello here. And then we're going to search for the letter L. We're going to debug and print our position variable. So by default, this is case sensitive. So when I F8 through this, this line of code will print the position of where the L is found in this string starting with the search at the right side of the string. So that returns position 4 because we started here at the letter O and the first match was this second L. So now if I capitalize this L here and we do this again you can see it returns three because it is by default case sensitive. So if we want to make this case insensitive, what we can do is add this third and fourth arguments. So for the third argument, we need to specify the starting position. In this case, I'm going to use negative one because that means the right most character. For this last argument, we're going to use VB text compare. That will make this case insensitive. So we'll run this again. And this returns position 4 because that's the first L and casing does not matter. So now we want to use the in string reverse to extract the last word in rows 3 through 5 of our spreadsheet. So we're going to clear out what we've created here. We're going to perform a for loop with a variable called x that is equal to 3 to 5 because x represents our rows that we want to run through. We're going to create our position variable again that is going to be equal to the in string reverse. And this time, instead of a text value we have a cell reference containing text so the cells has an input for row and column our row input is going to be equal to our x variable our column index is going to be column a so that's one we're going to search from the right of the text in the cell to find the first space in each of those rows so we want to search on a space so that's just a space between two double quotes we're going to create a variable called length which is going to be the output of the length function and i'm going to copy this because it's going to be our same cell reference because we want to get the entire length of the string in that cell and then 
in the same row, but the second column, we're going to populate that with the output of the write function. So the write function looks at a string. The first input is this string. And then the second input is how many characters on the right side we want to extract from that larger string. So again, we have that same cell reference, row three, column A. So for the, the second input for how many characters we want to extract, we want to take our length variable and subtract our position variable. Because if we look at this first string in row three, we have 10 characters total counting the spaces. So the length is 10. Our position variable is going to find the first space starting our search from the right. So that would be position six because counting spaces, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So then this, the length with the position subtracted is going to extract the last four characters from this entire string on the right. Got to use the keyword next and then our next X to increment our three to four and repeat these steps until we've run through row five. So now I'll F8 through this. So our position is position six of the first space starting from the right. The length of our entire text for the first item is 10. And then this is going to extract the right four characters and place it in column B. And it will do the same for these other lines. So in this second example, we want to extract the second to last word from these strings in rows eight through 10 and populate them in the cell to the right. So I'm gonna create a new subroutine called search string two. And we're gonna have our for loop here this time going from rows eight to 10. This time we're going to have two position variables. So we'll start with position two. And we're going to use the in string reverse. In whatever row we're on on column A. To find the first space from the right. So that will find this first space before today in this first row here. I'm going to copy this because we're going to use this again. I'm going to create a second variable called position one. So that is going to be equal to the in string reverse. And this time we're going to specify the starting position in this third argument, which is going to be position two minus one. So this will begin our search at position two, which is this last space here, minus one. So it begins the search at D in cold and searches for the first space before that. So what we have here in these two variables is the position of each space between the second to the last word. So we're going to create another variable called length and this time we're going to subtract position two from position one and subtract one from that to eliminate space positions and then what we're going to do is populate the cell directly to the right with the output of the mid function, which the mid function takes a string. And in this case, our string is going to be whatever row we're on in column A. So it has 
three inputs. We've input the first input. The next input of the mid is the position we want to start at. So we want to start at position one plus one because position one is going to be our second to last space before the second to last word. And then the final input of the mid is the length of how many characters we want to extract after that starting position. So we want to reference our length variable, which is the difference between our two positions, which will be the length of the word, the second to last word. And then we're going to reference our next X in our loop to go to the next row and repeat these steps. So our position 1 is 11, position 2 is 6 in row 8. So the difference between the 2 minus 1 is 4. So that extracts the second to last word and does the same for all these others. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching.